Hello and welcome to some Be Open here at Texas Motor Speedway. It is modern Texas and therefore it is a slower turns one and two. And uh, I'm excited. Love Texas and I'm excited to be back. I uh, was away for a minute because, you know, life stuff. <laughs> and uh, it got extended because I did two races at one point and I lost the footage for them, which was a huge bummer. But uh, we're back now and if you're hearing this, that means the race did come out and I did not lose the footage which is a huge not bummer so that's good news <laughs> we've got uh, some OSR in the car here today and uh, of course not gonna show it because it is now a paid setup model for OSR but I will say that uh, Q setup seems pretty good I'm happy with it we've got a really hot track here uh, in Texas though 117 We'll see how that changes as uh, we switch over to qualifying, whether it's going to go up or down, but very hot track at this current point in time. It could even go up, according to what the weather's saying. We'll see here. Question mark. Was 117. 150. Okay, it went down a little bit, but still, 115 is pretty spicy, so <laughs> might be slick. We'll see what we can do with the qualifying setup, and... Um, I, uh, I've got a cheat sheet here now for pit adjustments and such, and uh, I've been kind of trying to learn how to make adjustments of my own and get more familiar with how things work with the setups and such. So uh, I've kind of been paying more attention to, say, like the pit stop adjustments and everything. And I found that uh, on exit it was a little bit loose for my liking on the race setup, not the queue setup. So I went ahead and green flag, green flag. fiddled with it okay. just a tiny Good bit, trying to tighten up the exit a little bit. We'll see if that was a huge mistake or not. Temperatures creeping up. A little bit tentative through one and two there. I don't know if I hit that quite right. But I like the setup, uh, how it feels so far, because it does have a lot of turn, which I think is a good thing. It was just a little bit too much on exit, and I found that my right rear was actually wearing out. So uh, I didn't want that necessarily. I, after a short run, I was 97-94 uh, on the rights. And so I'm like, all right, well, maybe we can tighten up exit a little bit, balance that out, and uh, be able to get out of the corners a little bit better. And so just the tiniest of adjustments, but hopefully headed in the right direction. But, uh, of course, all credit still goes to OSR. Basically, everything else is the same. And uh, first lap did it there. We got a 21.8. Just barely in 21, or 29 eight. So I'll take that. We have the number three car here today, and hopefully not going to end up P2. I think we've got plenty of people that could probably pass me in qualifying there, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to not start outside front row. And uh, we'll do a practice pit stop as well. That's another thing I changed, uh, just some minor changes to the basic stuff, uh, steering ratio, brake bias. Uh, I got my brake bias at 57%. Try to get some uh, turn into the corner, in turn one especially. I guess exclusively, because I don't know if I'm going to ever use any turn like entering three, but figured it could help. Though it was getting on the right rear, like I said. On the right front there after the Q run. Let me remember to put my race setup in. Because it is looser. Which could be good. Long run, don't want the car getting tight. There we go, we're P3 right now. That would be probably ideal. Starting P3. If I'm not going to be pole, P3 is probably the next best thing. I think we're doing alright. In terms of our time. Still got some handful of people to go. The one car is choosing not to qualify, so they will not be taking a spot away from us. The two cars, the two car qualifying? No, we got a couple of guys starting in the back, I guess. Be interesting to see if they can make their way through the field cleanly. Hope they can. 
I wish them safe travels because that means we get green flag racing and I would love to do a green flag pit stop. It feels like it's been a minute since I've been able to do one. We always seem to get a yellow flag right about when it's about time to start pitting in these open races. So I'd love the chance. All right, Colton, your engine temperatures are looking better now. Oh, I thought he was saying, uh, all right, Colton, you're P3, like qualifying ended, but no. We're still waiting. Got a handful of people still waiting to go, the 5, 6, 10. In fact, the 6, I think, is just sitting around, so we will probably have to wait for the next 40 seconds, which... That's okay. I can fill the time with my nonsense blabbering. Or you can skip ahead if you like. <laughs> Got race start on the bookmarks as usual. And uh, those are hopefully handy for people. So far, so good. Hanging on to P3. Unless we've got some last-minute takers. I'm hoping my uh, a tiny adjustment in my car on the exit doesn't completely ruin the setup. I feel like just it was like literally one click, so I feel like that can't possibly be that dramatic, right? Smile. Of the session. P3. <laughs> Everything should be just fine. I don't know a darn thing about anything, but it should be fine. I got our race set up in. We get to look toward the infield. Oh boy. Get session last lap ready. The estimated SOF is. Holy cow, really? 40, 62 is the strength of field? I did not realize we had such a strong field. There weren't that many people signed up, but I guess. Uh, Got some strong drivers in here. I do see a handful of uh, 5,000s or so I rating on my race lab screen right now. So I guess we got some fast people for sure. I didn't think we were going to get that strong of a field because, like I said, it's kind of like a midday here on a Thursday. That's all right. We'll just uh, we'll try not to drive over our heads. Be smart about uh, finding our spot in the field, try to be good long run, and see what we can get out of this thing. Five cars left to grid. Five cars left to grid. Look at that, the 13 got the pull. Just now registered in my brain. It's a very strong run. But I guess if the uh, field's going to be this strong, 13's probably a pretty high I rating. Looks like he's 4,000, in fact. So just an overall very strong field, it looks like. Well, shout out to OSR for the Q setup that got me in third place. And I didn't even feel like I hit the lap all that great. Three sets of tires. We can go about ten laps over halfway. Which could be important to note once we start formulating our strategy. Catch up to car number 13. Hoping I don't make any dumb mistakes. It has been a minute since I last degree. raced, and this Line is my first race back. Pit road is closed. All the controls seem to be working, so that's a good first step. <laughs> make sure the wheeled pedals are working. I mean, obviously, I practiced. Um, I generally don't do a race unless I get like a minimum 15 minutes of practice, 15, 20, even if it's a combo I've done before. Just feel comfortable, much more comfortable being able to uh, experience what the combo is going to feel like before actually heading out into the race. Six sounded like he was burning off some fuel or something. He's revving it up a whole lot over there. I can hear him in my <laughs> my right ear. He's excited to do some racing, and uh, me too. Good car, good track, in my opinion. Don't don't attack me. That's just uh, it's just my terrible opinion. I like Texas, uh, and uh, you know I think it should be good. I think we'll have some fun. Restart zones are enabled. Okay, car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green flag, green flag. Peter does not get a very good start. I think he kind of wasn't ready for the green flag. Now the car will be loose. 
stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear out. On these first couple of laps here. So I have to be ready for that. You're cleared out, Brandon. I do not want to be in second place. If a caution comes out, very much prefer not to uh, start on the outside front row. But what you gonna do? To get from third to first, you have to be in second at some point. Clear. Outside. Stay low. The leader was just done at 21.7. Man, that thing's really rotating. I'm glad I tightened it up on exit because I don't know if you noticed it, it was rotating a whole lot right there. Still there. I mean, heck, maybe the change I made did literally nothing. But I did look up, like what the springs did and everything. Tried to tighten it up a little bit. So it should theoretically at least be a tiny bit better than it was. the door open for me here. You're back in seconds. Not quite there though. Stay low. Clear high. Okay, Colton. The refuel window will open on lap 52. We'll close on Taking a really wide entry to three. I don't want to dive it in on him. Even though that was normally like where I would drive into the corner right there. Outside. Guess he's giving it to me. Stay low. Outside, Sweet. Clear. Probably nervous I was going to wreck him. I didn't plan on it. But uh, I know I was probably getting pretty close to his bumper and he may not have liked the looks of it. So appreciate him for the courtesy. And we get to lead ourselves a lap. Okay, I can't feel too bad up. about that. Good consistency. Keep them coming. So in, in practice before my changes, I was on the right rear. I don't know if that's going to continue, or if my changes are going to make it so that I'm going to be on the right front more, or maybe it was going to be on the right front by the end of a longer run the whole time. We're going to find out, because I didn't get that long of a run. I didn't get to experience a super long one. Oh, this is really right. early for a caution. Shoot, man. Uh, I don't think I want to use a set of tires. Got three. You know what? I think I recognize this guy. I think he might be the guy I raced recently and uh, had like a, a great like fuel run or something. We were on a fuel strategy. Is that the same guy? Sure. He gives us a good start though. That was a nice of him to say. Guess I can't get the message back now. I was going to... Oh, maybe I can now uh, do it right here. Pits are open. I give him a nice start. He's P2. <sighs> I think we have to stay out. It's so early in this race, and I don't feel like I really went anywhere yet. We're going to find out if everybody 
Sides is against. Okay, we got some takers. A couple of guys behind us didn't go. It's just a little bit early for me. I like my track position. Don't want to get caught in any messes back there if they are. Going to make a habit of bringing out yellows every eight laps. So we'll see. This could backfire, but... We're going to have to pit again anyway for some fuel. So I think we'll be alright. Not going to make it by any means. we got about 50 left in the tank right now. And we are currently on lap 10. Not anywhere close. Uh, we could probably plan to pit around lap 49 or something, probably. See what happens. There was a good chunk of people that went in. If they come and catch us, that's all fine and good. We'll let them by. If they're faster, no reason to uh, put ourselves in any too big of a dangerous situation this early in the race. Yeah, we got a great jump on the initial launch. Uh, I think the green came out before the, the guy in front of us actually started going. So we kind of reached his bumper and had to be sure not to just blast into the back of him or anything. But it did really help us out. Uh, he didn't, like, get himself a running start or anything. He didn't Denny Hamlin it, in other words. <laughs> start going right here. One to, go. One to green. Car we will be the, the control car. The I figure we'll just start from second gear again. That eight coming out of the pit's pretty late. I wonder if he... He looks like he's fine. You're out there, John. Cutting it close. That's what cuts. On the Lally closed gigging. pit. No worries. Don't think we're going to have to worry about uh, higher spin. It doesn't seem that way. Six really likes burning off that fuel. I guess that's what he's doing, unless he's just messing around. Here is a engine roaring over there. I don't know how loud that comes across for the YouTube video, but I can hear it. Be interesting to see uh, how our tires are going to end up looking. It's being pretty, I was pr being kind of gentle on the tires, but. Nothing too extreme. I obviously made my way forward a little bit. You have control. Maintain the pace speed until the restart zone. Then go. Start zone. We're gonna go early in the zone. Green, green, green. Let's go. Yeah, it just. It, I just remembered on that restart. The initial start, you have to wait till green. So. We didn't really have much of a choice there. But uh, any restarts beyond that point, like right there, anytime you're in the uh, restart zone, you can go. Which can be an advantage, so. I went early in the box. I think we got ourselves a nice jump. Be careful with uh, letting off the gas, because I've noticed uh, a lot of times with this Xfinity car, and I've felt it here as well, the car will pull to the left pretty good, which you can use to your advantage to get around the corner, but it also get you loose as well, and get you sliding your right rear. Almost a little bit of that there. I'm kind of trying to be good about not just completely letting go of the throttle 100%, but kind of just easing off the throttle. I think that keeps the car more stable. The lap time was at 
little bit of shade here. We got some cloud cover. Maybe cooling down that 115 degree trap temp. Of course, we're all driving on it now, so there's that. Almost kind of faded up too far to the wall there. Gotta be careful. We're so good. We've got the nine right behind us. I think he's kind of just running a pace. Probably protecting his car. Pretty much what I'm doing right now. Not trying to hit the fast laps, but trying to be consistent. I do think we're probably going to get on that right rear again still. I think that's more likely than not, because that's just how it's feeling right now. Got a little bit of side-by-side -side behind us. Your last lap time was at 31.0. And he's driving much harder through one and two. He's actually going to get to my inside there. He really pushed it there. He's fine. Clear That spot to him. File in. He's a guy that pit. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. He pit, so he's probably got a fresh set of tires on it. That explains his extra speed in one and two. Guy behind us as well. Same thing going on. Like I uh, mentioned before, not going to fight these guys on their fresh tires. That's a losing battle. Be smart about it. Make sure I can uh, get back to my preferred line. Nah, that was pretty dumb of me right there, dude. I should have done that shit. Ooh, that was the first I felt a real tight feeling in 1 and 2 right there. I think maybe some dirty air could have contributed there. Less tires. Not quite fresh anymore. All of those things combining for a slightly tighter race car, but nothing unmanageable by any means. Next two guys behind us, both on fresh tires. Schmidt. These guys are really hoping it goes green a long time. We'll see. Could have been a very smart move. The car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear inside. Ooh, I'm getting right on my rear and got the car loose. Stay high to the car on the low side. Okay, wow, he takes a very wide entry for some reason. It's a little scary. That's why you give a little bit more room than you need to, I guess. See these guys flying by on their new tires. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Every one of these guys that's passed us took tires on lap ten. Looking like the they're worth a lot of speed here. P6. Gonna make it even nicer though if we end up with an extra set of tires late in the race after some cautions. That's the way we gotta look at it.
14 Sorry, coming up on us. Also got fresh tires. Maybe could have backed that down a little bit more. I'm actually clearing for a corner here to take it. Thank you. Clear. You're good. Thanks, bud. Hope I don't regret not taking those tires. I figured we were only on like lap eight, I think it was. But it really looks like it's making a huge difference for these guys. We're still the leader of uh, the guys on our same strategy. Yo, Ben, go ahead. In fact, next three guys behind us still guys that pit. So compared to the guys on our same strategy, we're doing pretty well, I think. And heck, maybe uh, things will start balancing out after a little bit. Although that was a bit of a mess of a turn. I was going all, all every which way on entry there. Eleven's coming. So my bad. You just done a thirty-two point zero. Car outside. I did not expect him to go to my You're outside in. there. Keep low. Clear up top. Kind of green out here. I think these guys might have made a good decision. I'm really surprised just how much tire fell off in just those eight laps. Especially when I, you know, I was going going a little bit, but I wasn't going a hundred percent by any means. So the tires got used up. At least a little bit, enough that uh, those guys are running away from us. Still, the next three guys behind us all got fresh tires on their car. That was the loosest I felt a car on entry in a while. Doing my best to hang on to it. Tenth position. Might have to pit a little bit earlier. Since we've got older tires than a lot of the field here. Maybe we come in lap 46. Should have trusted this field and that they'd be able to keep it clean. Now the guy behind us, he's uh, on the same strategy as us. He's the number one car and he has made his way forward, which he was probably going to do in any circumstance. Down, Let him have the bottom here. Still there. 
stay high, there's a car on the low side. Stay high. I thought he was going to be able to get me there, I didn't mean to hold on to his outside, to be honest. Still inside, clear inside. Inside. Okay, contact. Clear. 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 Still could work out for us to be clear. Still could find ourselves in a situation where we have a set of tires when some other guys don't, which could be everything at the end of the race. Right now it's looking like uh, they're keeping it pretty clean out here. Stay high for yourself. See some sliding maybe though. Thought I saw a puff of smoke. Maybe some tire marks. Ooh, having to fight the car. It's very wobbly. Yeah, I just I can't get the power down. It's very loose. Car inside. Stay high. Stop for this guy. Let him by. Clear. We find ourselves down in 12th. Probably a mistake not coming in for tires earlier, but I don't think we're in a terrible spot. We haven't ruined the race by any means. You're saying that phrase too much, I'm sorry. Outside. Clear up top. See how well we can hang on with the seven. Almost feels like we're getting a little bit of the grip back that I was feeling lost in the rear end of the car. Seems like there's maybe a little bit of shade in one and two that might be helping. The car just really wants to dart left on entry into three and it's it's very uncomfortable. But I guess I would rather it be turning than not turning, so there's that. Definitely think I'm gonna come in about lap 46. We'll do a, a bit of an undercut compared to the guys on our strategy. P3 right now of the guys on our strategy, which the strategy is you didn't take tires when you probably should have. <laughs> Not a great uh, strategy in retrospect, but couldn't have known that they were going to be green and clean after that lap 8 crash, or whenever it was, it was right about 8. I wonder if anybody else in the field is feeling what I'm feeling right now, where it gets really sideways in the corners. You can definitely see there being a wreck if uh, anybody else maybe feels what I'm feeling or worse and can't quite hold on to it. Like maybe the one got loose up there a little bit. Looked like I saw the left side of his car a bit too much for a second. Cup times are pretty consistent. I 
Five's right behind us on equal tires. He's been closing in. I hear somebody say they were pitting in. So I'm queued up, I didn't hear what they said though. It's right about that time. I'm going to stick with lap 46. Pretty fun race though, I'm glad we got these green laps even though it, it kind of uh, hurt me a little bit. Almost chased it up to the wall. Alright, not this time, but next time by, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. Man, it really is unsettled though. Another bad corner. I, don't, I just don't think I slowed down enough and it really tried to uh, get sideways on me. This thing is kinda evil, not gonna lie. Just sliding around like I did. Just making it worse. Okay, Colter. We're halfway home. We estimate 13 laps remaining on this tank. Your last lap time was at 32.6. Pitting in here, pitting in. M4. Car outside. Clear high. Pit lane speed All right. Is Fought that thing into the pits we'll here. To the end of the race. So we're a little bit early, but that's what I wanted. Pit box team. 10. You can head straight for Five. it because there's no one here. Three. Two, one, right here. A little bit slow on the box, that's alright. 69, oh. <laughs> 6945, alright, right rear, not having it. Still on that right rear quite a bit, that's good to know though. Go, go, go! If it takes it, looks clear. Let's see if we can get back on track quickly. What can we do now? We have to Humphrey ahead is increasing. It's now 40 seconds. The the well, heck, if the uh, right rear is so bad, maybe we try to balance it by driving it a little bit harder. Okay, Colter, you need to pass Humphrey to get the lucky dog position. I think it might be a good idea to get some good laps in right now and maximize our undercut anyway. Be very interesting to see where we cycle out. Be nicer to the right rear this time, knowing uh, what I do now. I mean, I was still kind of thinking like, oh, maybe I have to be on the right rear tire during that first run, and uh, definitely not the case. So, outside, outside, clear. Gonna get it on the right front just a little bit, don't mind it. We have the freedom to do so, I think. The quickest right now, the lap time was at 30.5. Outside. Outside. It's looking a little high. Clear outside. Who's a second to uh, five? Taking the bottom line. I'm sure he didn't realize I was gonna get there that soon. The captain, car behind we are flying now. at the moment. 
That doesn't matter too much when the names around you are all red. We're gonna need them to pit and let this cycle out. Car out, Dodge. Clear. All right, Colton. We're in the lucky dog position. Let's see Car out, Dodge. Still there. Clear high. Car outside. Waste too much time. Outside, clear. Every one of these laps counts. Car outside. I'm smart not to uh, cause any trouble, clear but up, try to uh, not lose a bunch either. The car in front, you pity. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Does he not see me coming? Outside. I'm hitting Jim, hitting Jim, hitting Jim. Clear. We're okay, we're okay. Thank you, buddy. The car behind, you're pitting. The car in front, you're pitting. People finally pitting in. This bit, this undercut could be oh, really huge land. for us. Oh, I'm hitting. Hitting, he says. Inside. Clear inside. Appreciate the heads up from him. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Place. I think we're about to unlap ourselves. Pitting. No, not really. The two is pretty far out there. Gonna have to go high here. So they're side by side. Take the inside clear. Thank you. Lose some time, but that's okay. B10. The car behind you pitting. Car outside. Outside is clear. The car in front is pitting. I am very, very curious to see how this cycles out. I mean, we're obviously the lucky dog right now, so worst case scenario with a caution, I mean, we'll still be okay, for the most part. Five per pit. There's gonna be some rocket ships after us, though, too. Gotta remember that. That huge uh, advantage we had is gonna be their huge advantage later. The car behind you, pitching. We'll just have less laps to take advantage of it, so. Think about it. Top 10 right now. Not bad at all in a 4,000 strength of field. And it hasn't even cycled out yet, so that's pretty awesome. B5. Hoping my new approach this run is gonna do good things. Would love to get my lap back here. Got to be listening for the two to call his pit out, though. Got guys hitting fast laps. Two's pitting. I think we got plenty of room. So we are back on the lead lap. We're in fifth, all right. Front Where are we going to cycle out? Fastest lap for Burkhardt. I'm pitting in. Okay, that is third, I believe. The lead is pitting now. The car behind is pitting. The car in front is pitting. Lap for 30.4. Right. Starting to feel the right front a little bit. Ooh, lots of smoke here. Starting to feel this new approach coming into play. No button brain and I fucked up on my What happened? 
Damn thing only put two rights on the car. I think we are in the lead right now, but we've got ten lap three. fresher tires on the horizon behind us, so it's not going to last forever. Especially if I do that. What am I doing? That was terrible. We got damage on the front end. Good we job, loser. Right side. We have a new leader. <laughs> Why did I do that? Just missed my mark, I guess. The gap behind is now I don't really have a better excuse than that. Control. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us too bad. It was a pretty solid hit, though. Going 170 or whatever we're going out of the exit of the corner. That was a virtual point eight. Thirteen's probably going to be gaining real quick. sideways. Gotta be careful. And now the 13 looking like he's gaining about half a second a lap. Keep it up, keep it up, keep digging. How far will we fall back? Because I know it's not going to be great. Hoping that tires will even out to a point. The car behind is catching. And we can limit the damage. You're leading. Maybe even get a caution or something at some point. Wouldn't that be nice? Be able to put ourselves back on the same strategy. Angry. Off the corner, by the way, slid through the whole darn thing. All right, starting to get temperamental again. I get Gonna reach us by turn three, probably. That was a thirty-two point one. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm giving you at the bottom here. Inside. Clear inside. Okay, almost slides up into us. Inside. They give him bomb though. Hi. It's probably yeah. worse looking to me than it actually was. Slid up a tiny bit. I just knew they were gonna be coming fast, so didn't really need to attempt anything. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. I still think uh, our somewhat early stop. Probably not a bad idea. I think it gave us a much better shot to get back in this thing with track position. Even if we're out, we are going to lose quite a few spots here by the end of it, but we were in, what, 12th? After not taking those early tires. So we got to remember that. I think we can probably do better than 12th even with uh, a bunch of laps to go. Four is approaching quickly. You've just done a thirty two point one.
and the bottom. Inside. Keep high. P4. Clear. Was our 32.2. Down to fourth. Got the seven coming up on us now. I'm gonna run my normal line. I think the speeds are evening out a little bit, but obviously still having trouble. Car inside. Still inside. V5. Clear inside. What can we maintain? We've got the 10 coming up real quick, but we got another two seconds back to the next guy behind him. So we'll see how long that lasts. Again, we're pretty much comparing to 12th place, given where we ended up after not taking tires early. Oh my god. Breaking sideways on me there, real bad. Inside. Wish it wouldn't do that. Stay high. Clear. Sixth place. That lap was at 32.6. I was hoping I'd get rid of some of that by trying to be more on the right front this run, but nah. Still doing it. There's some speed in the in the setup for sure, but it's uh very touchy on entry and through center. It's a balancing act. It's like playing a uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and you're like uh, grinding a rail. You've got to balance the meter at the center. That's what it feels like going through the corners. Balancing my skateboard. One is coming up very fast. He's got very, very fresh tires compared to me. Maybe we will end up in 12th again, I don't know. 14 to go. Your lock time was 32.2. Hopefully things won't be too bad. So touchy. Inside. Still there, inside. He's clear. Last lap was at 32.4. Inside. That guy's got much fresher tires. I'm not gonna cut him off. Stay high. Clear. Well, we're losing all the track position, but I think it was good to be in such a advantageous spot in case a caution came out at the right at the right time. Did what we needed to to potentially put ourselves in a good spot. Just gotta wrangle this thing enough to get it home safe for about another la uh, eleven laps. Very clean race though after uh, the lap 8 caution. I think we could still get ourselves a top 10 here. Really the gap's now 
2.6 seconds. That was a 32.2. Actually, catching this light green car? I haven't been paying too much attention. Are we catching him? I don't think we are. We shouldn't be. He's got 10 lap fresher tires. In to go. This gone by. One and a half seconds back to ninth, two seconds back to tenth. Top ten would be a fine result. Be a okay with that. That lap time was 32.3. Green car taking like a higher line. I wonder if that's working for him. I don't know if I really want to experiment too much right now. I'm just trying to maintain. Looks like he gets a pretty good run out of the corner though. The lap time was at 32.3. The cap to Bell ahead is now 0.9. I think we might be able to hold on to 8th. I'm looking at the gap behind us and how many laps we got to go, but I'm also looking at us getting loose in 3 and 4 and losing time, which is not great. But we might be able to hold on to this. 8th place. That was a 32.4. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Ooh, it's getting really loose. That's so hard not to get it sliding. Number one. I mean, I guess that's factually correct for one person in this race. There is a number one. lap car coming up on us real fast. Hopefully he will be fine with Sexton. going around the outside or something it's since his race is pretty seconds. much over. I assume he had a pit stop penalty or early participant of the early wreck or something. Five. You Five to go. This is less than optimal. Gonna go to the inside, that's fine. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Still inside. Need him to go ahead and do it though. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. The carrier bell in front is now 1.4 seconds. Alright, three to go. I think we've got eighth place, unless the six has a huge couple of laps. You've just done it, 32 points. Don't think we're catching a light green car, although we're keeping pace with him better than I would have expected. Ten lap fresh or uh, older tires than he has. I kind of liked uh, that lane up a lap or two ago. I might do that again here. Maybe we got some cooler track. A lane up here. I don't know, I don't think it worked quite as well that time. Two laps remaining. Uh, 
Oh, I don't like that point six behind us. The six is having a uh, a good couple of laps, I think. White flag, stay smooth. Only one more to go, though. I think I had a good three and four there as well. White flag, one more to go. Looks like the two car is going to get the win. Great. Good win, driver. Alright, P8, it's not too bad. Salvage after the hit cycle. The race, good win. P8, okay, we're done. Thank you, good race. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with an eighth place, salvaging that after a really well. wrong decision early in the race. Back to 8th, solid top 10, fought some loose conditions, got ourselves some green flag pit stops, which I really wanted to do, had some fun, not bad at all, I think our right rear is still going to be pretty worn here, 67-41, if anything that's worse, <laughs> if anything that is worse, I don't know, it's just really getting on that right rear, I mean even the left sir, more worn in the rear, as you can see, so... Pretty slidey. It doesn't help that I guess uh, you know, the track temp was so high, probably adding to that. But uh, hey, I will definitely take a P8. You can see the two celebrating his win. Great race. Got some uh, incidents out here from probably most of them from that first wreck, so we'll see what happened in that. I say first wreck, but it was the only wreck. Get the camera moved. That's a weird glitch. That's the smoke from him doing his burnouts, I think, and it's showing up on lap one. That's curious. Never seen that before. Car 16 on lap two, gonna find the wall. Just a tiny bit. Car 16 on lap three, gonna find the wall. Just a little bit. <laughs> Deja vu all over again. 19 getting loose. He's taking an unscheduled pit stop. Or at least a, a trip through the grass. He gets caught up though, because uh, we've got ourselves a caution coming up here in just a couple laps. Who's it gonna be? Where did the issue come from? Some more wall hits. This looks like a three wide disaster waiting to happen. Ooh. There? Huh. I don't know what that means. Is he asking if I'm here? I am here. Hello. I, I guess. I don't know. Whose Discord of mine is... Okay. <laughs> uh, the 8 getting tight on exit. Real bad. Uh... Oh, he's gone. He wants me to check out his Discord, I guess. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the 8 gets tight in front of 3 wide, which is a really bad place to get tight, unfortunately. That was just a very bad set of circumstances, I think. Very bad time timing for the, the guy to get tight and have to lift off. And 15's out there, so they make some contact. A little bit of netcode, but it was on its way to happening regardless. And as you can imagine... Things do not get better. Got guys sliding through the grass, people uh, slowing down. The 8 had it heading the right direction, but the 11 not able to slow it down quite in time. Got more happening back there, guys sliding through the grass. And the caution has come out by this point, so that's what happened there. Just a case where the guy got really tight, it looked like, on the exit, and uh, there were a lot of cars around him. Unfortunately, could not get away with the, the slight mistake. So we jump all the way to lap 37 for a wall hit. Oh god, don't look at this guy. I didn't even do anything that time, but I know I do later. <laughs> I hit the wall. I hit the wall pretty good that one time. It's probably going to show up here. 
A lot of nothing, though. I think everybody really cleaned it up after the first caution. We had ourselves some really good racing. Eight, unfortunately, got a very broken car. He's limping around here in Texas. I think a lot of what we're seeing at the moment is uh, tire wear. Is 19 going to be able to get this navigated? Does not look to be the case. That was a blown engine. I heard it hit the last second. That's unfortunate. It, it's pretty tough. I, I had my brake bias back at 57, and the car's already kind of wobbly to begin with when you're slowing down real good into the pit entry. It gets a little unstable. It can be tough. So here we got nothing. I'm going to skip forward a little bit, I think, until we start seeing some cars next to each other. The 10 was making that higher entry work, kind of reminding what I reminding me what I've, I saw in the uh, 87 Legends here at the Legacy Texas. There was kind of like a higher line that was working for some guys, I remember. Kind of looked like that, where you take a higher entry and then get a really good run out of the corner. Moving along here. I wonder where some of the guys that were on our same strategy finished. Better than me, I think. So I, I did something wrong somewhere at some point. Probably pit too early. Fell off too hard. But again, that was kind of me hoping like I could get that track position, maybe catch a caution at the right time. That was the plan, and uh, we went green all the way to the end, so... That's alright if it doesn't work out exactly as expected. Still not feeling too bad about a P8. I don't know if we're going to see too much else. We got the one pitting. Oh no. Very not great. Look at that though. He still beat us. And he didn't have too much trouble doing it either. And looking like me. Is this me doing that same thing now? Yep, there it was. I got it pretty good. I don't know, man. It felt like pretty much the whole corner was feeling like normal. And then I guess maybe I gas it up right here and it just does not grip up for me like I expect it to. And then I didn't even feel it, really, until it was too late. I thought I was still going to be okay. More and more wall hits, it looks like, as time goes on. Let's move it along here. Not too much to see. I know I didn't do anything. That's probably my tires again. Yelling at, uh, yelling at me and yelling at the damage report here. And here we've got some guys coming to the line, so that's going to be it. This is after the checkered, so that will do it. Six uh, just dumps it, <laughs> and we will take a look at the results next. They are ready for viewing. Just got to bring it up so you can see it. There it is. All right, so we will lose a little bit of I rating, but not much. Just a minus 10. Not a big deal. And we've, of course, got ourselves a 0x in a clean race and 149 championship points, which... You know what? That's pretty solid. I'm happy with that. It, after all, was a uh, over 4,000 strength of field. And we led some laps, you know? I don't think we looked too bad out there. Just kind of made some wrong strategy choices. And, you know, that'll happen sometimes, especially when you get the green flag runs. And if, uh, if you're going to enjoy the green flag runs, you got to understand, sometimes it doesn't work out for you if you uh, get it just a little bit off on the strategy, so... If I could do it again, I would take the tires probably early on, knowing just how worn they get so quickly. And um, maybe our, you know, first run goes a little bit better. We pit from closer to the front. Never know. I never know what can happen. But for this one, we'll be P8. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. It was a fun race. I enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.